right, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't matter. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Rips Arena. I'm just gonna do it again. I don't even care. <laughs> no one is gonna know. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone out there on Twitch and on YouTube, the arena is back with some spicy MK1. It's the not so dynamic duo on the mic, Abel and your bald boy. We are back with some great sets, some new names, and some interesting matches in the pipeline. Abel, first of all, what's poppin', brother? I'm doing good. How are you doing, Rips? Abel, why are you wearing sunglasses? Is it because I'm not wearing my cap right now? Be honest. Yes. <laughs> Abel, no, my stupid ass forgot my glasses on work, so I gotta wear my sunglasses because I have really bad eyes, and if I don't wear my sunglasses or my glasses, I don't see anything. Guys, the, th the thing is, Abel is honestly blind like a freaking mole. You know, like a mole. That's Abel in real life whenever he forgot his glasses. But I'm happy that he made it anyway, because today is gonna be an interesting stream, Abel. We two saw the lineup already. I think everyone who is in our Discord saw it as well. And it's looking incredible, in my opinion, because we have the, the perfect mix of OG players, pro players, and complete newcomers. You guys know I'm a big fan whenever we have newcomers on stream. And Avil, I did some investigation here before the stream started. And you won't believe what character we have on stream today. Avil, Tell me. Lee May. I, I, I don't know what happened, Avil. We found another Lee May player. We thought we only have Angelicus, right? In our 700 people player base. But we found another one. And this person is going to have his stream debut today. I see the entire chat going crazy. Guys, what's popping? Foxy Kim, thank you so much for the five gifted subs here in the beginning. We have Rip's bald head making a return to the arena as well. Tacomans, uh, so many more. Moonpie, I see you as well. Head. It is going to be an interesting day. So I don't want to let you guys wait any longer. Let's boot up the lineup. Let's talk about it. And then we send out these invites. Because I like what I'm seeing here, Avil. Match number one. Raven Lina. Sindel slash Kitana. One of our, our best Edenian players, in my opinion. At least here in Europe. Oh yeah, definitely. Versus the boy Reaper. Avil, of course, you're on the mic. So I had to invite another Kenshi Sweatlord to actually show Ooh. you how to play that character properly. I mean, can we even say Kenji's Sweatlord, or is it now the Kung Lao Sweatlord? I think it's we both. We don't know. It's, uh, you know, it's uh, after, after Reaper's last performance where he just went for the freaking Lao mirror, I'm curious if we see Lao or if we see Kenji today, but we're going to find that out very, very soon. But then you guys don't get any breaks here tonight. Match number two. I think all eyes are on that particular set right now. Honeybee versus... Faisal, Ooh, one of the best be. NA players versus one of the best Middle East players. And you know what's what's good, Abel? It is a beautiful set for us to watch, you know, from a viewer perspective. But it's going to be a pain in the ass for those two to play it. Because this is going to oh, be yeah. hyping online action, but I'm all in for it. I want to see that reptile. And with Faisal, we never know which character he is going to bring. Is he going to bring the Shengalinga Ding Dong? We haven't seen him for quite some time. Another... Hey, who knows? Another potential, of course, Kitana as well. The character Faisal started MK1 with. But it's going to be a banger set regardless. Having those two on stream, big, big honor for me. Can't wait for it. But then, X-Star. I mean, the new kid on the block, Avil, so to say. After oh, season yeah. one, no one knew who X-Star was. And I think after our first grand finale, everyone is like, okay, this is one of the literal best Reiko players in the entire world. And I say that with all the confidence. I know there are a lot of insane Reiko players out there, but Exter, he plays that character so perfect, Avil. Oh, definitely. One of the best, as you just said. I mean, the, the Reiko striker combination, it, it might be, honestly, the, the best cameo pick for the character today versus Skarvik. That means more Havoc action. In the arena tonight, happy to have him back here all the way from Germany, representing the Zero Subs. And then it is time for Debut Madness Chat. 
we literally have four debut fighters back to back to back. Oh, Jesus. Demon Dish. I hope I say that right. Versus... Abel, you know what? Why, why don't you say the, the other name, Abel? <laughs> All right, we have Demon Dish versus Kerpentin Kayara. <laughs> this is one of the most complicated names yeah. I've ever seen. I I've hope that the PSN is not going to be that complicated. I just... Can we just call him Carpet? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Yo, he's, I mean, he's, he's never gonna sign up again. I know yeah. that for sure. But he's I mean, here for the first time. Gonna, oh yeah, gonna be an interesting set. And to end it off, we have Unholy Magipie. I hope I said that right. Versus wait, wait, Snow. That is Unholy Magpie, like 100%. Magpie. Yeah, Unholy Magpie versus Snow. And it's gonna be also interesting. Now we saw both players first debut in this arena. It's gonna be hype. I hope both of them are here. I hope both of them are ready. But I think we did enough talking groups. Send out so these too, invites. Right? Yes, invites are already out to the players. Let's get this first uh, first set started. And unholy magpie. Just as a little spoiler here in the beginning, our Lee May player tonight and i can't wait for it i know a lot of people always on the youtube side ask when do we see more lee may action when do we see more sub-zero action and today it is happening at least i can promise we get some lee may gameplay tonight sub-zero i'm not sure about it but what i see is that our first two players are in the lobby let's give a warm welcome here to raven lena and the boy reaper back at it again right now we are hovering over kenshi and of course raven lena i think i might be wrong also an Austrian player. I see him, her. I'm not sure. I'm sorry if I pronounce your pronunciation wrong. I see uh, the person, as I said, a lot in Macaron's chat. So also a really sweaty player as well. Revelina is incredible. I, I gotta say it. One of the best executions in our player base in my opinion super super solid as well but raven lena was all already incredible back in mk11 we just didn't see that much gameplay oh yeah i mean uh, i saw uh, i saw them play a lot versus macron as well and they performed really well which is one of the best in my opinion uh, so-called macron but nice up block there good up block nice opening and now it's party time look at the little setup they're waiting to suck reaper in i, I think I yeah, can say it like that i will write yeah. We can say whatever we want, Rips. <laughs> if it's too bad, we just cut it off. But again, Raven, uh, Lena, they are so good with this character. The amount of uh, cool combos uh, he does with the, with the Kitana is insane. That's what we're all here for. All the Kitana mains in the chat. Take your notepad out. Raven, Lena is teaching us a lesson. But right now, Reaper, the one in the driver's seat here in the corner. Kano assist, extending the combo into 18 hits. And another reset able. Now it's looking rough because Lena currently in the blender has to find a way out oh yeah they definitely need to find a way out and i think they just want to find an opening and there was one didn't believe in the hit confirm oh will this come back to cost him now it's raiden's turn it's chip territory it's all she wrote the cannibal to seal up the deal and reaper got away with there with the robbery now, this is a close match and that is exactly what i expected from these two i mean two arena veterans not only here in mk1 but in mk11 as well let's have a look Yeah, nice opening right there from Reaper. Goes for the setup with the Kano knives. Just oh, tripping away on the HP. Interesting option. Low profiling that armor move here. Oh, yeah. Reaper can go for that low meaty all game long. Kitana cannot do anything about it, Rips, because her armor move is a high. But I will stop I mean. Cell. I mean we have seen so many storm cells in the first weeks of mk1 and i don't think it's gonna stop very very soon raven lena one touch we can bring this back but we need to find the hit confirm for the fatal first oh there's and the kano yeah the cheap <laughs> off-screen cameo right there from reaper taking the first round and Man, raven lena was so not ready dirty and we see the players do that so many times the off-screen kano call and no one is ready because able they are so focused on you know the on-stream action on-screen action that they don't pay attention to the cameo bar oh yeah i mean i said it as well in the beta already rips in my opinion the cameo bar should have been a little bit bigger and you should see it a bit more so you can actually take more uh, like you have more focus on it, but but they're so tiny up in the corner. Sometimes you just don't look at them. 
I thought so. Uh, it, it honestly but is a little bit dirty. Yeah. I wish that in a future patch, NRS would add something like, you know, a little indi indicator that Kano got called off screen. Or maybe a little voice line. <laughs> Imagine Kano coming like, Oit, mate. <laughs> Oit, mate. I'm in. I'm going to throw the dice. <laughs> no, Abel, that's, that's not ready. the right Kano action, Abel. <laughs> Yeah, that's the, the that's some action. kind of Russian Kano. <laughs> Oi! I'm gonna come in with the knights. All right, we need no, Reaper. But now back to the action oh, we yeah. go. Reaper, another opening has been found. And all these players slowly really diving into different characters. Yeah. Every, I mean, Reaper has the execution. Sometimes I would even say it's smarter to go for these other characters than Kenshi, because Kenshi is such a character who depends on that one hit confirm. But if you don't find that one hit confirm versus characters like Kitana, especially, it's so hard to find the opening. But right now, Raven making sure Reaper <laughs> wants to switch off after this round. Let's have a look. Crimson Let's saying, see. I have to leave early tonight. Enjoy, guys. We'll watch on YouTube. Crimson, have a wonderful evening, my friend. Thank you so much for tuning in. And now once Crimson. again, corner pressure. I want to make, I want to make sure that you watch on YouTube. I want to see a comment from you on YouTube that says, "Avil Rips, I'm here from the Twitch." <laughs> but right now, Raven going for that interesting setup. What is oh, happening? Little bit at least didn't get punished for it. Once again, overhead yeah. connecting. You have to be quick at MP1. No Rips. Every time I see a combo that does almost 30%, can we even call it a drop? It already did 30%. That is so wild when we compare MK11 damage numbers to MK1. Every oh, single yeah. character. I mean, 30% all day long, Avil, even if you drop half of the combo. Yeah. It is just crazy. But right now, Reaper showing us. Oh, that's too slow. That's going to drop. But no punish. Yeah, the pushback was too much. Oh, yeah. Ravelina not finding the right option. Oh, got clipped by oh, the high heel. Oh, the stagger is the little special point, uh, poke special, I mean, and Draper taking it again with the robbery and the dirty tech. Man, it, it, it is so crazy that oh, made... now, now in MK1, every single character has options to make unsafe stuff safe, right? Compared to MK11. Oh, yeah. There is a setup. Goes for the interesting combo here. Wait a second. What is happening? Way too many fans. Way too much swag. Way too much damage rips. Oh, but that is a punish all day long. Raven Lena tried to record the combo tutorial here for YouTube. Didn't work out in the end. And now gives Reaper the potential of a comeback. Oh, yeah. There is the Obed. A little 8%. Doesn't, isn't much, but it still is 8%. But there's the opening. No meter for Reaper. Uh, Say GG's. Uh. Keeps it basic. Wow, it's Raven Lena. Putting oh, yeah. yourself on board. Love it. d -Scat, thank you so much for the gifted sub here to the community. Once again, a big, big thank you to every single one who is here with us. More than 340 people in the crowd. And of course, a big, big thank you to every single one who supports us here daily with subscribing to the channel, gifting subs, or even donating to the prize pool for the players. All this only possible because of the best community in the world. Yo, and and yeah, D-Scat is true. still going, Abel. D-Scat not stopping yet. Another gift, it's up. And Reaper right now, smart, not switching off the rain. And I can see it rips. I don't want to downplay Kenshi. He is arguably top one or top two in this game. But he has some matchups where it's just really hard to get in. And Reaper does not like that probably. So he just want to fight. Pick it out with the rain, and I, I, I accept this cho uh, choice. Choice, choice, choice. <laughs> My English is bad. Oh, just the emergency don't you don't Yeah, I played a bit too much MK11 there, my little buddy. Tekkomans are saying, been a pretty even set so far. Great start to the day. I agree with that. Two phenomenal players, close match. This is going to be interesting, and potentially even a game five. Oh, yeah, this is really, really interesting. But Reaper now tries to backdash but gets caught by Raven Lina. Yeah, Kitana is such a stagger heavy character and it's so good actually. Her movement as well rips. Her backdash. Whew. The so entire good. moveset they gave Kitana is phenomenal in my opinion. Um, from yeah. a design standpoint, that character looks super, super fun to play. And that's exactly what the community asked for. Vara here, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Buzzer. And she keep, kept her core gameplay with the fan zoning and all that kind of thing. So, great but, job from NRS. 
But I think every single poke special from Reaper so far connected. Lina always pays, uh, pays the price for trying to take the turn back. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Rips, it's just basic instincts. You always want to keep your turn after, uh, always want to take your turn after somebody poke. But if you don't challenge that, Rips, you know what that means? You can do stuff like double pokes or pokes into buttons. Yeah, it's, it's just you... different layers of mind games. Yeah, and if you get conditioned in that way, oh, it's looking rough. But right now, Nina is doing a great job. Took the first round there as well. But now Reaper with the big boy 2 for 2 combo. They said they nerfed his damage rips and he still does 35%. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any of it. Yeah. Oh, the trade? That looks so plus. Yeah. Oh, the Speaking range. Great conversion as well, but Lina not shooting the right special here. Oh, but he now made. we are ready for the off-screen Kano. Oh, oh, he made. He does it twice. But right oh, now, the movement jump in. from yeah, We know how consistent Reaper is with those anti-airs. Not only that, Reaper has been known as also a movement god in MK11, so of course he's playing a lot around his movement. He's with punish. Raven, Lina, he needs this combo. He needs this damage. 30%. Eight. Reaper almost has three bars. Eight. Now the pressure Eight. Eight. the up block. That's going to be some extra damage on top. 21% yeah. throw. Yeah, it's juicy more damage rips because Sub <laughs> Zero's throw does 21%. And there's the fan. But this is this is intense and now the main question is gonna be is reaper bringing a different character is it time for kenshi is it time for lao now with this yeah. back against the wall we have lena on match point i mean reaper needs to think about that last pick because if he picks kenshi he gets out zoned if he picks low rips he gets out zoned as well so it's pretty rough right now for him does he want to play the zoning uh, game but the rush down as well let's see kenshi. But Peter's so saying, is it Omni-Man time? Kano. Right now it is not, but we bring the OG main, Kenshi. Of the Dragon Army. I gotta say, I've if you think about it, Rips, Omni-Man is a pretty good anti-zoner character, right? Yes, in my opinion, even one of the best. Yeah, that teleport with, with Smoke as well, because I think Smoke is an incredible anti-zoner no, character. But Omni-Man and Lao cameo, this shit is so hard to zone out. Man, this guy has full screen hard for blockables. But yeah, but no, there yep, is a the center sandwich. Yeah, but one big downside to Reaper's gameplay with the Kano and Kenshi. He will never get a Sento combo rips. He always needs to, let's say, standing for into the Sento and uh, hope for a good setup. And right now, Raven Lina gets the big life. There is a setup. It's the low. Was blocked. The pressure. Nice over to two. Kano ball. Right now, I can say that, that Lina is not impressed at all. No, it, I, I, I'm impressed that she even goes in. I thought she's gonna backdash and just zone Reaper, but yeah, it doesn't look like it. And Reaper is looking. No, like Lena he's getting might have the here. download ready. Oh. Completely steamrolling the opponent right now. Another bait oh. on the up block. And yeah, one big downside is where Reaper is playing with the Kano cameo, so that means no anti zone. He goes for the center on block, tries to be cheeky. He didn't call out the Kano. There is the amplified knife pose. Sword toss. Sento! Oh, this is dirty ribs. And now it's starting. Mix! Yeah, you gotta I'll wait a little to bit. to jump out of the pressure. Didn't work out, but Sento still here to press some buttons. Yeah, but Raven Lea has all the screen to work with. We have to fight it again. But Sento is now out. There is the armor. I gotta watch with the Sento. Sento's back. Nice air special. That was so smart ribs. Now it looks rough for Reaper. Hard knock down. What's for breakfast? Sento disappearing, giving Lina a little bit of breathing room. I think one clean opening into Fatal would seal the match here. Nice backdash. We've had the chance to get out of Sento with only trading a projectile. Wait. Wait. An another bait. This is, not this is still possible. Good looking at the head game. Wait, what happened? Nice Yo, the Montclair jacket from Lina actually <laughs> saved the match here. What? The Montclair jacket out of nowhere! That was so crazy, Rave Lina up block, and Reaper thought he had the safe match.
by go calling Kano here, but all he threw was absorbed by that Sub Zero armor. That was incredible. That was so good. That was so smart. And Lena in the chat saying, Jacket, carry me. You know what I'm more impressed of, Rips? Tell Usually, me. when I see a projectile on screen and have the jacket on, I block out of reaction. But Lena, with the balls of steel, just was, goes for this. That was just an in, in, incredible read, I think, and and most likely the only way out as well. Yeah, Sub Zero just such a good defensive cameo as well when it comes to projectiles, and Lena 100% deserves that win. GG's to Reaper. He tried his best, but yeah, that Kitana is just so nasty. Very, very impressive. But speaking of impressive things, I don't know if you guys are ready for our next set. Because it is time for the Battle of Regions. Honeybee versus Pfizer. The match everyone waited for. Two world-class MK players today in the arena fighting each other for those league points in our 3000 plus dollar league series. I'm very curious about the chat prediction. Because who are you rooting for, Abel? Oof. I gotta say, I enjoy watching both players. I'm a huge Honeybee fan, right? Always picks up those strange characters that nobody plays, <laughs> comes right. up with the craziest setups and combos that nobody is ready for. But at the same time, Faisal, the monster from the Middle East, the zoning god actually back that in the true, days, yes. right? Yes. Picking up different characters as well. We see him play Rushdown with Raiden especially, but also the zoning side with Kitana and Shang Tsung. But seeing that he has multiple like layers to his uh, game plan is just impressive in my opinion. Yes, Faisal is just super, super versatile, right? In terms of being able to adapt to the opponent. Both players are here. I'm not ready for this one, chat. Good luck to both. Let's get this party started. Honeybee and Faisal, we're diving in. We don't have a pool, let me make that one. What character are we seeing? Faisal bringing Raiden as well. The same combination we saw from Reaper. And Honeybee, of course, wants the Scorpion cameo. So he gets access to those proximity OSs in neutral. Standing four into Scorpion, leading into so much potential damage while being safe at the same time. Yeah. Quick little prediction in the chat. You can spend your points right now. Honeybee versus Faisal. It's going to be spicy. And Honeybee already starting it off. Wait, oh, Honeybee is here to play. Right? You're saying Faisal who? Take a close look to Honeybee's Lizard. Does that call a change on the Lizard with that skin? What the hell is that? That, that man is... <laughs> Honeybee is bringing the rainbow colors! What is happening? By the way, he has been, been invisible all this time. I've never Faisal seen that before. Know what to do. Yeah, look, the, the crocodile has a different color. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like black like, and white like and that Abel always calls it a crocodile. <laughs> Isn't it a crocodile? <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a crocodile or a lizard or some kind of weird <laughs> creature. There's everything. There is a nice opening with the storm cell. Charges a full up, almost a full MK logo. Let's see though. There is a storm cell. Doesn't it amplify it though. Oh, there was a running lizard, but he's just jumping all over the screen, Faisal. Oh, but he got caught. Spitball in neutral. We have to break here. Could have been so much damage. I gotta tell you, we gotta talk about that spitball. That move is so disgustingly good. It's a mid screen launcher that is a projectile. Oh, hey, when I've oh, learned something in MK11, throw a uh, slow traveling projectiles are so good. Oh, yeah. And the good thing about Reptile is he can choose whatever he wants. It's so fast, quick, you know? Right now, Tyser, he needs that opening. Let's see, the Razor Storm Cell, the Kano to keep it safe, the 242, the pressure is on, the chip is going. Nice, confirmed, straight into the Fatal Ball. Will it drop? It does drop. Evil, he just did it without meter. Faisal, that was like an Omega Heart read. I think he expected a player like Honeybee to pay attention to his meter and he just baited it. He threw it out on block, would have died for it, and Honeybee said, no, he is not gonna do it. He is not. Yeah. Right. Sometimes you gotta be a bit. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta be a bit too money <laughs> to make those game-winning decisions. Now it's overhead. Nobody is ready for the Scorpion cameo. I'll tell you, it's oh, it unfortunate it drop on Honeybee's end. Yeah, of course, guys. I'm not dropping those combos. They are pretty good staples. 
What do you call that barfing ball, Rips? B force ball? Oh. I just call it the spitball. The spitball. Oh. Honeybee in the driver's seat right now. Has the lively good look on that overhead stagger. Forward throw and now Faisal on life support. Big with a neutral. <laughs> and Honeybee is Slaps saying... him with the car. Uh, what did you just say? Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, with his tail. I, I hate this dude. I, I just hate this dude. It will only because of you, I now have to edit that shit. What? I mean, a cocktail, the thing you drink. I need another commentator. You know what cocktail means in German? I will don't or? even say the word anymore. <laughs> Yellow Runner saying I'm available. Let me kick Abel out of the Discord right now. The world exists must change your perspective. Completely. You know what, Abel? The most important thing is 1 0 -oh, Honeybee. You know what? I'm gonna call that move the cocktail move. That's a good <laughs> name. Yo, okay, Kane, welcome. Here is Doom, eh? Honeybee looking for that opening. Playing the space again. Big whiff and Faisal was ready to strike. There's a back throw, clapping in the face. Do a little backflip there. Raiden is so stylish in this game. But there's the Canaanites. Nice dog portal. And Honeybee. Ooh, nice challenge. Full yeah. string doesn't work. I'm really saying Abel just demonetizing Rips of Fun. Yeah, everyone in the chat who has a Prime subscription available, drop your boy one because this YouTube video is not going to do well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, nah. Meaty Storms, uh, Pfizer. My accent is so yeah, bad, Rips, I don't even recognize it as English. Round two. Fight! Ooh, sucks it in with the storm cell. The little vacuum. Uh, uh. But right now the forefront. What is happening with Python? My man is waking up. I told you, the master of adaptation. There the knives. Go for the full combo. Oh, it's so sexy. Ooh. Oh, gets hit by the uh, something roll co crocodile. Just call, call it the, the rolling crocodile. The rolling crocodile. Now we have the running. Zip. There's the armor with no block from Honeybee. Nice with the duck OS side switch in the corner. Will he go invis? Oh, he for sure goes invis. That is going to be juicy Sparks damage as well. 32%. We are invisible. What's for breakfast? Oh, nice down one challenges. One big downside to his uh, invisibility as well, Rips. When you get block a hit, you Just could go out of punish. it. That could have been so much more. Yeah, nice, nice running, running lizard with the punish, tries it with the cocktail, but it didn't work out. Oh, that's chip ribs. No, Faisal is answering back, and we have another match on the menu. 1-1. One, one. I see Celestial with the first time message saying, Hey, I've been watching since MK11, but I've never been able to catch a live stream. Love you guys. Celestial, thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome to the live arena. A big, big shout out to every single one watching this on YouTube. And what's incredible is that so many people lately join us here live every single day on Twitch. I was saying, you know, I, I found you guys on YouTube. Thought I'm going to say hello real quick. We love every single one of you. Thank you so much for all the support and for making this happen. But now let's get back to the action. 1-1 one, one, Faisal Honeybee looking spicy over there. Have we talked about the chat prediction, Abel? I don't think so, right? No, we didn't talk about it in a lot. I mean, it's pretty much even ribs. Those 9%. Who cares? But yeah, we have a little bit more people believe in Faisal. Of course, he's like a top four finisher last season, right? But Honeybee never count him out, man. He is just such an incredible competitor. Yes, I mean, Honeybee is an, a literal OG in the NRS community. We're invisible. Thing is time. Oh, get punished for it. There's a poke special into the canoe. There's a nice armor move for Faisal. He sniffed it, Rips. <laughs> and it's not the smell of reptile. Nice breaker. Low poke. Another one. Oh, wait. There's going to be a punish with the running lizard. Puts him into the corner. What will Faisal do? No, he, no, he Faisal. dropped it able. Oh, oops, it. That was so smart. And now the storms are the cannibal to finish him off. Oh, I'm, I feel sorry for that. Oh, it goes over the bath ball. And now that might give Faisal the momentum needed. Nah, no, just shimmy. Faisal didn't confirm though. 
Nice one one. It's zero on block. Nice flawless block. Yeah, punishing that is really hard because the input buffer is a bit strange in this game. Go for the full logo there. Ooh, oh, oh Kano saying hello. And that is it. Pfizer taking the lead in the match. Finish him. Honeybee, can he take us to a game five tonight? The chat is saying Raiden, hella corny. Okay, so we, we have to ask the live audience here and, and everyone on YouTube as well. Guys, what is your least favorite character to watch in MK1? Like, mm. what is a character when we have him on stream, you guys on YouTube are like, you know what? L let me skip this match, Avil. L let me just skip this. L let, me, let me see the live chat. Flatter saying Baraka still, Johnny, Johnny, Smoke, Johnny, Johnny, Omni-Man, Johnny, Johnny, it. Kenji, Johnny, yo, Abel, everyone hates Johnny Cage, bro. Yeah, uh, I wanted to say Baraka at first as well because of what happened back in the day, but I agree, I hate Johnny Cage. Bro, we have a lot of Johnny, Johnny haters out here in the oh. chat. You know, Rips, it is so funny. I always talk about it. In MK11, Johnny was the most loved character. The hardest character, by the way. Honeybee, uh, Faisal, a demon for going there. Uh, for that move. But now in MK1, nobody wants to see that bro fish. <laughs> nice, Wallace well, well. This time he gets the punish. This time he's ready with the input buffer. Ah, oh, Faisal, he is not dropping dolls and he goes for it. Doesn't even want to amplify it again because he knows I'm going to meet you with Stormset. I'm going to chip you out. Faisal! On match point. Yes, the beast from the Middle East is here. Goes for the projectile. Oh, those two didn't dude. work out. Yeah, Honeybee tried to enter here. Yeah, nice conversion. That's really not easy, actually. Nice block. We didn't believe in the punish there. Here comes the Kano ball. The pressure. Make with no whiff punish. Flawless block again. Input buffer screwing Faisal over, but there's the overhead. Now the set play rips. With rep. Overhead. Sit down, Faisal. Another one. How do you like it? Yeah, it's like he's just teaching his kid right there. So did Scorpion just pull him out of the storm cell? <laughs> that was that was goaded right there. That's a punish with the running lizard. Into the corner with you, my friend. Nice ball throw. Ugliest throw in the game. We don't care. 1-1. One, one. Huh? Bro, but Honeybee's defense is insane, especially considering oh. that this is a high ping matchup. Another punish. Yeah. Nice reversal. There's the cocktail. Didn't work out, though. There's the end. The Kano. Did he save him his life? Big whip, big whip on him. No, Honeybee got to be so sad. One touch. One touch for both of them. Oh. This is going to be a great. And Cronovan in the chat is saying the ping must be brutal. Yes, the ping is brutal, 100%. This is Canada to Middle East. It is rough, chat. It is rough. But I'm pretty sure both players, they know this is an international event. And honestly, Abel, it's a blast watching these matchups because you never see them on the on the regular. And not only that, Rips, I, I, in my deep heart, I truly believe that both of these players also enjoy playing the set because they just want to test some grounds. Yeah, the ping was high. Yeah, it was a bit hard to play. But just playing versus somebody from the Middle East, how awesome is that, right? Get some matchups experience. How is the, How do people play the game on the other side of the earth? Yep, that is right. And, and another thing is, I'm pretty sure that Faisal and Honeybee even might, might meet soon in an offline event because both of them traveling for MK1. It'll be super, super interesting to see. But thank you so much for playing through it, guys. Honeybee and Faisal, two incredible players. And I think they proved that today again. So let's take a look at our lineup card. I have a third set of the night and we don't even stop here. No one gets a break because we have the best Reiko player back in action. Extra in the arena tonight versus Skarvik, who is a player we haven't seen for quite some time. Happy to have him back. Skarvik is a Havoc loyalist in MK1. But looking at the prediction naval, I think there are a lot of extra fans in the chat. I mean, this dude is incredible. So who do you guys have? Do you think Skavik has what it takes to take down the Reiko God himself? Skavik versus Extra, right? Yep. 
I'm, uh, I'm hoping I did the prediction right, guys. Sorry if I messed up the names. But yeah, you can do prediction right now. We have a Havoc player in Scarfing. We, of course, have Exar, the ultimate Draco loyalist, the neutral god how I like to call him, the guy who destroyed everybody in the PC finals, that is in right. my opinion. No one was right? ready. No one. It took Daniel to his limits to beat Exar. Which is music to my ears, Reiko. What is this Havoc outfit? My man looking straight up like out of a horror movie. Round Put in his guts like fight. it's his backpack. Jesus Christ. Oh, Alright, we're starting off strong. Exa already has a life leap. And when he has a life leap... Wait a second, Rips. Am I seeing this right? Let me clean my lenses to recreate. Is Exa picking Darius? No, X-Star is sending a straight up statement. He is like, I'm no bitch anymore. I'm going to go in. Uh, uh, uh. Enough of the zoning and the shurikens. Goes for the low. Yeah, that is minus three. Having such an underrated character, in my opinion. Although I gotta say, Rips, Havik was a really strong character, but that Cyrix nerf that hit that character so hard. Oh, pulled out his arm, save armor. Mm. Just barf in his face? Disgusting. All right now, x star one touch away. There is a low into the shurikens. My man wants too much Ninja Turtles, but it doesn't matter right now because x star looking strong already with the Darius cameo. Moncler Jacket in play. Yeah, and Draco, but jacket. yes, this zoning is so hard to deal with for 99% of the cast. Yo, Xepha, what's up, my friend? Usually you need around like three or four projectiles to uh, break the Montclair jacket. Yeah, Havoc just needs one amplifier or two normal ninja star strips. It's really, really good. Mm, just punch him down. Mink, mink, mink in the face. Nice end here. Nice breaker though from Scarvik. Jumps over the shurikens, goes straight into the bar move. No ha uh, no Cyrix means no combo from that. Nothing with money from x though. Sliding uh. those DMs saying hello, my friend. How does it feel? And the boy is still going. x -star. The double Impaler DDT combo? I love it. Oh, and His spacing breaks. is just so good. That's the thing about X-Star. He really figured out how to play Reiko the most optimal way. It is so hard just to approach him in neutral to get anything started. You cannot touch this dude. She's past three in the chat saying, Jesus, this dude's Reiko is insane. Yeah, I honestly think X-Star, he might be the best Reiko in the entire world right now. Uh, one day, I want to see Rewind versus X-Star, like honestly. Maybe we have to make it happen, Avil. I mean, you have the briefcase with the $10,000. I don't have the briefcase, Avil, but we have the best community on planet Earth. I think we, we, might, we might be able to convince Rewind to play the money match, chat. We might be. Round you think Fight. we can catfish them so much that we say 10,000, we take 9,000 for ourselves and just 1,000 for the fight? We just say 10,000, but, but don't say what currency. Yeah. 10,000 rubles. <laughs> How much is that? Ten dollars? I have no idea. But now let's get back to the action. Exa continuing his reign of terror in the arena. Yep, Skavik not blocking on wake up. Yo, Laya, thank you so much for the prime sub. Cheese pastry with the five gifted. What's going on here in the chat? Man, thank you guys so much for all the support. We're even close to a hype train Ooh. at Exta. This man has no mercy. Round two, fight. Uh, 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 uh. Mink him in the face. Mink, mink, mink. What the? Oh, oh, it, but, out his arm. Yeah, but good awareness from Exta being able to block that. With command trap, but no punish from Skarvik. Not quick enough. Yeah, Rips, I have no idea what the frames on uh, on Havik is, but I just know one thing. After I left this guy, I was just like, oh, everything is plus. So every time he does a full string grips, he is plus. Stop <laughs> sweeping it! <laughs> There's the command stuff. grab! <laughs> this man goes for the conditioning. You know what the worst part about this is, Rips? That sweep is plus. That is so disrespectful. Reminds me a little bit of Aaron Black and MK11. 
Oh yeah, the the, my, the zero over minus one sweep, disgustingly good. But Clean with nice punish, punish, and once again, extra with a ah. brute here. This man is speed running this. Brutality. Draco wins. The commands are saying DDT to the nether realm. <laughs> Yeah. And once again, everyone, a big, big thank you for, for the support today. We are close to another hype train. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thanks for having our back. Thanks for spending time with us every single day. Close to 500 people here live on Twitch. And Xstar is on Matchpoint. Round one, fight. We go to the map that reminds me of the movie The Mummy. But right now, X, uh, Scarvik, I mean, he needs to find an opening rift. But right there, the Impaler DDT, the Darius assist. This for real right here is a WWE tag team match calling in this assist. My man X Star is just gaming right now. Overhead. Overhead. And wait, no, Numirek is saying, you know what? Cheese pass three, drop five. Let me drop seven real quick. Numirek conquering our top gifter list there at the top. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate that. The chat is saying, play the song, stay with me. Ah, uh, chat, I got you. I got you. Wait, wait, wait. I'll do it. I'll do it. Hey, but you, hey, but you better get back to the commentary yeah, right okay, now. Okay, I'm going back to the commentary. I'm sorry. The chat is saying we not, not only have a have a battle on screen, we have a gift sub battle in the chat on top. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Mink, mink, mink in the face. The now don't do, sit the don't down. Do. I think he maybe could have converted that one as well. Hard knockdown. Again, overhead sponsored by Extra. And Scarvik doesn't even know what's happening. The chat asked for the kick brute. And Extra is saying, I got you, fam. You know what extra was in the school day, uh, school days rips? That man was a bully. This man definitely that man was, was a bully. One. Yes. He threw his pens like he froze his shurikens down MK1. <laughs> he was like, that answer is not wrong. Threw his full pencil case. Like his full pencil case at the at the teacher. I know better. I'm Xstar. Oh, Xstar is a he is a freaking sweat. And he's shown it once again. The best Reiko in the arena, showing us how to play the character the most optimal way. Very, very impressive. A big, big thank you to Skavik as well for signing up, throwing yourself out there. Foxy Kim, wait, what is happening in the live chat? Wait, Jason. <laughs> they literally, they have the gift sub battle in the chat. We need the scoreboard for our chat right now. Numirek, Foxy Kim and Cheese Pastry battling for the top one spot. Thank you so much for the support. I hope everyone watching this is having a wonderful day right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can only repeat myself. You guys are absolutely amazing. And so is the next set. Tankomans are joining the battle on top. It is time for the debut madness in the arena. And now it's getting interesting, Abel. I have absolutely no idea what's gonna happen next. Demon Dish here for the very first time versus Kyra. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest Rips. I have no idea what to tell you about th both those players. I, mean, I just know one thing. All the debut fighters in this arena or in this league or on this Twitch channels, for some reason, are the biggest sweats ever. They will tend oh my ass, even though I think I'm a solid player. But <laughs> after playing versus them, I just think that I'm like bottom tier trash, right? But I, I honestly I mean, don't really understand how that's possible as well. Most of the times when we have debut fights in the arena, they honestly are incredible. And I think basically never. It is a real beginner who plays the first time competitively. 99% of the time, they're absolutely sweats. And we might see that today as well. Kyra versus Demon Deesh. I don't know the characters. I know absolutely nothing about them. And that's what's so excited about it. Demon Deesh is here and I see a smoke combat card chat. Woo! Smoke combat card rips, that means we're gonna see some a lot I mean, of mixing. Avil, just look at the levels. Look at the levels and tell me those are not not sweats. Oh my god, rips. <laughs> look at me in the lobby looking completely out of place. Level 28, bald man. 
I really need to play more. And at least I'm not there. I'm gonna, be, gonna be honest, I'm level 86. Man, I, I, I literally, I think I don't even have one hour of actual playtime. I, I just don't have the time. I'm, I'm so sad about that. He said the same thing in MK11 just to say, Oh, you, you won versus me, but I don't play that much. <laughs> I need the OS. But now we're diving in. Demon Dish, Smoke, and Kyra bringing the Johnny piece. The most hated character, potentially. Oh, we have Johnny on three. Okay, let me see. See ya. Great job doing the commentary. No way, he will come back. And give this up right now, and I'm gonna talk again. <laughs> <laughs> We're on a level six hype train. Two debut fighters on stream. This is a great night of MK1, in my opinion. And look at the pressure. Johnny Kano, so oppressive. Oh, the teleport cancel that? Being a little cheeky right there, Demon Deej. Look at Johnny, Kano. I mean, we know this thing from the beta. It's just dirty. There is invisibility. There is the low. Little mixy mix there. Ooh, big whiff punch with the 2 1 2. Oh, and wait a minute. Here comes Kyra now. Hot knockdown, good overhead. Juggles it, and this is gonna do it. We don't drop those. And wait, Juggles what is like happening with J Blacks in the chat? Maybe J Blacks just casually dropped the 50. Euro donation. J Blacks, what are you doing over there? Thank you so much. Can we get some big J's in the chat? Oh, I love, Jimmy. I love every single one of you, honestly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Rips is getting emotional again. Man, I'm always getting emotional on a daily basis here. Mayhem cheering 200 bits as well. Hype train is still going. We love you guys. But no demon dish. Cooking something devious here in the corner. Man, why not a female? You would get so much more support. No, Avon. No, no, no. No <laughs> female on this planet gets as much support as my bald hat here. On I'm just yeah. kidding. Oh my god. You're, you're just going to be the reverse female, you know? Instead of having long hair, you would have longer beard hair. That's true. I'm, I'm, I might have to, to grow the beard a little bit longer. I, I shaved it a few days ago. But now back to the action, it? Let's go back to the commentary, please. You should you should grow it so long that you make your like your beard hair your new top hair. <laughs> but speaking of top hair, look at this. The pressure tries to armor through it, but he just gets punched in the face. Let me cut you in half with a kick. My name is Johnny Cage. I'm gonna sit down and look you. Brutality. Wait, why is he pulling? Off I mean, that, yeah. that is that is the big problem Johnny with Cage. with Johnny Cage in general, right? The, the biggest complaint the community has is that if you play MK1 by the by the books, right, it is never your turn versus that character because he can literally loop you forever. Plus frames everywhere, super super good buttons. And uh, it is just very, very hard to, to deal with that for 99% of the cast. I mean, every time I see a Johnny Cage player rips, I, I'm going to say it how it is. I don't know what to do already. I just go into my bed, hey, look the know. other way, and hold down the As block button. Up That's the only thing I do. I and I mean, 1% fitness with the first time message is baby? saying exactly that, saying, how is this balanced? Other guy does all the moves. Johnny just presses hit until he wins. That is that is the big, big Johnny problem. But Mayhem, thank you so much for 300 more bits in the chat. Let's see if Demon Dish can somehow find an answer to that. And we really ended up, we really fought in the beta that Sub-Zero was the best character. I mean, we are still in the early stages of MK1. I, I'm, I'm super curious to see how the meta evolves throughout the next weeks, months. I mean, you hear, you hear the screams in the halls, rips that send that too, you know? So it's gonna be interesting how this game evolves, actually. Especially how the top 1% of this game see this game. Nice block on the low, nice punish there from Kyra. And Kyra, I mean, both of them very, very strong players. Definitely no newcomers. And there's the pressure, the strike throw. Yes, you just have to guess right. Both of them played a knock combat league. Think this is a game show? Round two, fight. I think that's a game show? For real. Nice cancel there. A little cheeky move there. I like it. Nice breaker though. Yeah, that's also one big down, uh, one big upside on Johnny. He doesn't really need meters. He always have to, has the free bars to break it. Takes his turn back. What is happening? I'm getting mixed by just watching. Dude is invisible and now bringing all the heat. 
Good entire. Nice follow up. Is this my boy Fabs in the chat? I love him. I'll tell you, Rips, if I was a female, I would marry Fabs. He's a perfect husband. <laughs> you know who also would make a perfect husband? Smoke if he wins with Johnny Cage because it's looking rough for Kyra Those right there. Dish. Do we see the. Do Yo, what is that taunt? Fight. I've, ne I've never seen that before. It looked like he lagged a bit. And we're invisible again. Alright, good blocks from Kyra. Look at this. It's getting spicy in here. Yeah, this is he just the right, end of but doesn't fully commit. We had the dark on the throw. I gotta say, Rips, confirming with smoke is not an easy thing to do. But what is this combo? Into uh. the cancel, into the back throw. Wait a second. I thought Kyra was pretty good at this game. Demon Deed. We just, just have another match here. This smoke, smoke is looking dangerous. And I'm I'm so amazed considering that those two are literal debut fights in the arena. We have never seen them on stream before. And that shit is just mind blowing. <laughs> no me <laughs> Johnny Cage. I hate this dude. Love, okay. I hate this dude. <laughs> I agree, no Nomirek. In Germany, we call this yes. Disappear. You ever think about playing Vegas? Round one. Fight. <laughs> okay, uh, let, let's get back to the match here because I like what I'm seeing from both of them. Another opening. Demon Dish going in. Rips, how do they always do it? How do you do a combo while you're in this? You don't see a character. How do they do it? Yeah, that's why we are just commentating and these two are playing. That's true. Double poke. Oh, Interesting. The defense from Kyra, yeah, very patient right now. Yeah, but there is a classic poke into the smoke bomb. He is in this. He doesn't know where he is. I don't know if Demon Dish knows where he is. But nice end here. Immediately break up for Kyra. Still believing in that round, even though he has a big life deficit. But let's see, though. Oh, the defense. Good Waiting for the Kung Lao. Tries to call out. All right, guys. It's time to count how long would he need, does Demon Dish need to block until you can take his turn again. It More is pressure. just not ending. There it is. And we are close to chip out. Nice call out from Kyra to stay alive here. Not allowed to lose his turn one more oh. time. There it is. And Demon Dish takes the lead in the set. Wow. Round two. Fight. I love that teleport cancer rips. That's so cheeky. It is. Nice. How did he do the side switch while he was invisible? Those smoke players are so insane, Rips. Yeah, press on the not plus frame cancels. The, <laughs> the thing that pisses off most smoke players in the world. Oh, wake up, the right one. Now. We're stealing turns in this dojo. Go for the standing free free. Oh, gets the cancel input wrong. Man, this literally turns into a nail biter set, and I'm all in for it. Yeah, gets clipped by the low there with the Johnny string. Overhead, the Kano to keep himself. Goes for the low string again. All the blocks in the world. There is invisibility. Nice block on the low. And Kyra guesses right and gets the round for it. Demon Dish betted it all on the mix up. Plus frames. And again, very yeah. decent blocks from Kyra. She just punched him out of the overhead. Oh, not, you can poke out of there? Oh, yeah, Johnny privileges rips. Let's talk about it. Six frame down one. He needs it, Avil. That's what the Johnny, no, no. Johnny community no. says. Six frame down one. Oh, don't remind me. But once again, Kyra, like a turtle, making the right call up. Sit down. This is so close, Abel. Hey, look at the health bars. Basically, completely even. Nice call out. Oh, well, that was a Kung Lao input over there. The Kano, the Beacon safe. The opening, the Kano to push him away. But no. Rips, one touch, one mix up, one anything. 
Oh, both so defensive. There is the back throw. Oh, what's for breakfast? We will see the Kung Lao. What a... Wait a second. Demon no Dish. way, Demon Dish. This man is going future. crazy, Chad. This... Man, turns this match around right into the brute. He is saying, how do you like that, Kyra? There is smoke, there is fire. Brutality. Smoke Abel, where is that smoke coming from? Demon D single-handedly setting the arena on fire. Tecumenza in the chat saying, this is turning out to be a pretty good set. I like it. And chat, just a little spoiler here. Coming up next, we found another Lee May main. Unholy Magpie in the arena for the first time as well against Snow. Stay tuned for this one. You see, Rips? I never want to say anything about new players, right? Between clans isn't good for anyone. But when your second character is Kenshi, after you just pulled out Johnny... You're a pretty dirty player. I gotta say how it is, Rips. I'm sorry. Wait, we I'm switched sorry. from Johnny to Kenji? This man went like one from top one to top one. This man said, I didn't have enough top tier powers. Let me pick another top tier. I mean, I mean there's so much money on the line. I can I can understand it. Yeah, but interesting because I gotta say, Rips, I hate this matchup. Let's see how Kyra approaches it. Low bus. Oh man, the pressure is on right now. And, uh, that's a good point, Rips. This is actually a solid matchup. Invisibility doesn't matter versus Kenji. He is already blind, so he doesn't see him anyways. <laughs> that is a good point. Impala saying today's arena might be the most versatile one in a long, long time. We honestly see a lot of different characters today, and I like it. Those were the full screen. Jesus, you don't see that and, often. And for all the new watchers, by the way, who, who just found us during the MK1 days, guys, believe it or not, back in the days, we had an entire season where we had to ban Sub-Zero from our events because no one wanted to play anymore. Because everyone played Sub-Zero in MK11. No one wanted to watch our events, no one wanted to play in our events because it was Sub-Zero only. That's how bad it was. I mean, Daniel picked Sub-Zero. Everyone. Picked everyone. Sub -Zero. No, everyone played Sub-Zero. Everybody. Sub -Zero. Social, even the Middle Eastern players with seem all the people who hated them. Yep. Bitchy has the Sonya main picks up zero probably as well. Rips probably picked so as uh, sub as well. It, it was honestly so bad. We had streams chat where we had seven sub zero fights back to back, like no other characters at all. Everyone played sub zero. Disordered, Kanimani, Takinada, all of them. The entire season finale was sub zero only. Yeah. You can still find them on our YouTube, by the way. If you, if you watch old events back, feel free to check them out. But now, let's get back to the commentary. Sorry, I got distracted because Demon Dish, what is this man doing? 50% into my god. It's, I, I want to say GG strips. This man is fishing for a brutal. I'm calling it. That's the thing. Don't fish for brutals. Now we got Shimmy. Wait, where is the Sento? Where is the sandwich? Where is the unfair advantage? My man, Kyra. I think no one was ready for this set here. Demon Dish and Kyra. What was that from both of them? Incredible match. Thank you so much for playing today. And thank you so much for, yeah. Potentially the stream highlight here, Avis. This could be the thumbnail. I can already see the thumbnail, Rips. Newcomers in the arenas. Are they ready for the demons? <laughs> and this is honestly turning into a speedrun stream we are we are live for one hour and 10 minutes and I we like only it. have one set left and as expected it is another double debut unholy a double magpie. d yeah a double d unholy magpie versus the boy snow can't wait for it And Icer is saying, unusual recently, isn't it? A big, big shout out to every single player. All of them are ready. All of them are on standby. And yeah, that's that's how we like it. Thank you so much. In the meantime, I'm sending out these invites. And, and Avil, what is your thoughts on Lee May in MK1? I said it many times, Rips. In my opinion, if you want to play her... If you want to play on a brain that combat league level type thing, right? Pretty easy character, pretty something, not something interesting, right? But if you want to play her on a top tier level, Rips, let me tell you. It is not I easy, right? I think she is, 
she is i think she is even harder than kenshi to play on the top tier level I, I can see it and i think that is one of the reasons why we we basically don't see lee may in competitive play at all like honestly no one plays her so hard in a uh, in a high level because you need to know every frame of every character you need to know every minus seven string in this game just to make her viable in top tier of course remember and yeah one big downside she has though she gotta play with the scorp cameo rips and the scorp cameo is not bad don't get me wrong but the things that other cameo bring to the table Wait, instead of scorpion oh, right you have the cool low, 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 so. yo this and is a dope cameos. matchup Melina versus Lee Mei. And people talked about the, the vers versatile matchups here in the arena tonight. And we ended with a Melina Lee Mei set. Oh, this is a great day. Can we get some AOs in the chat for absolutely no reason, everyone? Yeah, but I don't like that Lee Mei skin. That's, 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 that's I like no it. ass Lee Mei. But no, let's see low Basso and forcing the pressure. Unholy Magpie in the chat, by the way, saying, I'm so nervous. Ooh, there is a punish. Wait a second, this guy is sweaty. He knows his punishes. Oh, both of them do. Raw ball <laughs> roll in neutral saying hello. If you ever have if you ever have any doubt what to do, pick me in and do a raw roll ball. Nice one, two. No confirmed though. Gets hit out of the forward four. Yeah, for some reason, the oh. auto hit didn't come out. Uh, the big whiff punish. Unholy Magpie on life support. The dirty setup. So many one twos. There is a fall for to end it off. And Snow Nine, looking two, good with the Melina five. right now. Great projectile. There is a bus. So again, the teleport, the overhead, the dirty little un uh, hard to blockable. Rob overall punish. That was good from Snow right there. Set up again. Overhead into the mixer. We are just mixing right now, Rips. But so again, such a dirty move. Can Unholy Magpie get an opening? And he tried tries it. it. Tried to close the gap with the big knee, but Snow was ready for it. Double ball roll to clutch it out. 1 0 lead. And Unholy Magpie is saying, sorry, every Unholy Magpie, I, I gotta say something. You know what? I, I actually have to switch the camera. Unholy Magpie, first of all, I think I speak for the entire audience when we say we're so happy to finally see another Lee Mei player. And guys, please never, never think that you are not good enough to play on stream here in our events. This is a community project. We are all here to enjoy our hobby. We all love MK. And that's what it's all about. Please never feel like that and it takes so much courage as well Ava to sign up play live in front of so many people thousands over there watching on YouTube and people like Unholy Magpie and so many more are the only reason why this thing exists in the first place because without all these great players we wouldn't be here we wouldn't have any matches so Unholy Magpie keep going I love every single thing I'm seeing right now Honeybee sending us the raid Honeybee thank you so much for that hope you had a wonderful stream my friend the reptile Ooh. king himself and now we go back to the match here Unholy Magpie if versus Snow and Melina's in the lead one off <laughs> it was because she doubted me Round one. All right, we go into the next match. Unholy Magpie. I, I think he found his groove now because he switched his outfit. And look at this, Rips. Just a little pep talk right here. And Unholy Magpie just 40%. got powered up in our speech. Did you see that combo, chat? That was yeah. some fancy stuff. But again, we have Snow with the whip punish. Putting her in the corner, and now what's for breakfast? We are still going. What the hell is that combo, Abel? It never yeah. stops. That's a disgusting Melina. You might say that Kitana is the combo queen. I mean, Melina is pretty close to that as well, Rips. Nice overhead with the forward four. Straight projectile is always a high. Hits Kung Lao in the face. Hard to block, but nice block though from Anoli Magpie. Needs one more Good opening. Defense. Both need one more opening. What is a low projectile? Do we see the need there. It is Abel Scorpion here to play Magpie. Magpie does not confirm though into Fatal This might cost him the round Get and it's meat. it! Such a round two, fight! Oh, 
Oh, the big combo there again. Slightly missed some of the overhead. Magpie was yeah. ready for the punish. And again, Scorpion is here to assist with some big burger damage. Unfortunately, the combo drop in the end. Uh, gets an input error on the special move there in the end. But don't count him out. Unholy Magpie, he just needs some opening. Yep, we give it another shot, Abel. An unfortunate little, but now Snow wants to make him pay, but the breakup was ready. There is a bus saw, delays it a bit. Nice pickup with the juggle as well. Oh my god, Rips, I think this is gonna be it. It is gonna be it. Oh, Snow, show it us what that Melina can do. A beautiful set, in my opinion. I don't even remember when we saw or if we ever saw this particular matchup in the arena so far. Lee May versus um, Melina. I cannot remember yeah, even. Yeah, you don't see that really often because at first we saw a lot of Melina players, right? But after time she got exposed to being not the strongest character anymore. Now only the real loyalists still keep playing her or people who just like big combos. And seeing a matchup between Lee Mei and Melina is just phenomenal. <laughs> She's best you say, time for that reversal. Can we get some big use in the chat here for Unholy Magpie? Let's power him up, playing for the very, very first time on stream. Let's show some support. We're all here watching this set, no matter the outcome. And we switch the outfit able. Now it's time for the green one. Now, man, went straight to Greenpeace. No big whiff. Nice confirm though. No. He makes sure that every hit he gets makes it count. Nice breaker. Serious, I like that green outfit a bit more than the normal one. Well. Goes off her behind a bit better, you know? <laughs> She's best in the chat saying green. He is channeling that honeybee power. <laughs> yes, honeybee <laughs> landing his energy right now. That's a reptile cosplay there. Oh, but nice confirm from Snow. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Into the teleport, into the setup, into the hard to blockable snow on match point. Yeah, snow Ladies not showing gentlemen. any mercy. Fight. Potential last round. Cannot only make the comeback. Let's see though. But oh, snow, this man looks so confident. Gets hit in the bus. Oh, such a dirty move in general. There's the scorpion breaker though. Straight projectile. It's on a bit. Takes a life lead. But there is the projectile teleport. Oh my god, Rips. This is gonna hurt. Bow roll. We are cashing out. 36%. There is a hard to block a bolt. Nice to empty jump. Oh, unholy magpie. Can he make a miracle happen? Oh, good nice block. Block. Good punish. Wait a minute. We are still in this able. Good combo. We are still going. There's the second scorpion call. Look at this. 40% throw. Is this the comeback of a lifetime? Yeah, that was a big big chicken egg nugget combo. Again, Abel, but not enough health available to make the trade here. Snow takes the set. Unholy magpie. That was beautiful to watch. And you can be proud because Snow, let's be honest, this man is a freaking sweat. Oh, definitely a freaking sweat. But the most important thing is that both players are dropping some GG's in the chat. Abel and me, we are going to drop some GG's as well because this was a phenomenal qualifier in my opinion. So many different matchups, so many unique players. And once again, the biggest thank you to the entire community. Not only the viewers, the players as well, all the commentators for making the arena what it is today. I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as Abel and me did. Abel... Rate, rate today's qualifier from 0 to 10, Abel. What is it? Is it a 9 out of 10? I think it was a good one. A solid 9.69 out of 10. I see. So just like that, everyone, stay safe out there. Have a wonderful evening, a wonderful morning, wherever you are from right now, watching here live on Twitch or maybe even watching later on YouTube. Abel and me, we're out. Going to be back tomorrow with another event, of course. Until then, we're going to send you over to another great content creator as always so be nice in the chat support the community and i cannot wait to see you guys again hey, what are you what are you doing there Abel? you know I, what I it's time to end the stream everyone take care